Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 14th. Uh, this week, we're just going to jump right in here, and we are going to see what is coming up for you here, Aries. Uh, Aries, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what is going on for you uh, at this time. But uh, Aries, you have this community card. Pretty much every single sign that I've read for this week has had some some card that would represent community, like the Three of Cups or the Ten of Cups. So it does seem like, you know, other people could be extremely important for you and everybody else, really, uh, this week. But uh, Aries, let's see what is going on here. I feel like for some of you, you're breaking, I mean, I don't use this word lightly, Aries, but I do feel like you're almost breaking some sort of curse here. Uh, you have this Cobra card at the end. I don't really believe in curses personally. Um, you know, to me, for a curse to work, like I, I always bring up the example of a voodoo doll. You know, the whole point of the voodoo doll is traditionally that a voodoo doll had to be left on the person's front step right? The voodoo doll was left on a person's step so that they would know that someone was doing voodoo on them. So it's like the, the person had to be aware. So in that sense, uh, I kind of do believe in curses because again, you know, to me, we're all get, getting vibes and energies out there. But again, unless you're tuned into the frequency, you know, then nothing is going to happen. So I don't think you're breaking that type of curse. I, I feel like you are kind of breaking something that has had a hold over you for quite a long time. I like this reading because it's kind of like you're setting yourself free. You have the uh, community card here. So so, like I said, I feel people will be very important for you at this time with this energy. And uh, why? <laughs> Let's see here. You have the family room. Look at this. Uh, definitely could be spending a lot of time with family or uh, could be experiencing um, spending a lot of time with family. For some of you, you could be creating a family I'm getting here as well. But I feel that family is going to be very important for you. For some of you, again, I feel like you're, you feel like you're breaking a curse here. I'm getting on that sneak, that Cobra card there. It's almost like you're breaking um, a curse of kind of being um, stuck or something like that. So for some of you, it's like maybe your family has some sort of story. I mean, I mean, pretty much all of us, like our family has some sort of story about something, right? And I feel like you're breaking that. Uh, this could be a good thing here, Aries. Let's see where this goes. You have the Nine of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands here. Definitely doing something for the first time I'm getting here on the Queen of Wands. I feel like this is your energy. Funny enough, it's like the whole entire reading makes sense to me. The King of Pentacles is a card of convention. It's a card of the way things have always been done. So it could represent, again, this like curse-like energy where there's something that you believe here and or have been believing for a very long period of time. The Queen of Wands tells me that you're ready to break free from this energy. And that Nine of Wands, um, sometimes I feel that Nine of Wands can come up in a reading when someone is kind of ready to break away from something because it is a wounded warrior, but it kind of, to me, represents throwing something at the wall and seeing what sticks. But it, it's kind of also a card of like your last shot, right? It's like on the traditional nine of wands, we see the guy with eight wands behind him and he's holding on to that one last wand. So to me, it can kind of represent that final, you know, chance. It's like you're swinging the bat one more time. And that's kind of like the energy that I'm getting here for you. So you're either breaking something that is like a generational curse or something like a belief that your family has. And uh, why is this important? Well, number one, because I feel like it's going to lead to uh, everything you wish for with the nine of cups and the star right in this last row. Um, or uh, I feel that you are removing a, just a limiting belief in general. It's like there's something that you have always believed maybe about life or business or about health. And it's like you're breaking free from some sort of belief. The, the star comes up in a reading when something Thing becomes possible for us. The star, she is normally kind of pouring water onto the land outside of her pool, and it kind of represents the fact that what's possible for one person is possible for everyone. And so for some of you, it's like kind of like you're seeing that something is possible. I feel like I said this to you recently as well. You have the three of wands here, waiting for the perfect moment when there never is a perfect moment. Again, if you're thinking about swinging the bat one last time, if you're thinking about, you know, giving something one last try, whether it's, uh, you know, love, being in a relationship, a business, a job, uh, you know, I, I feel like there will never be a perfect moment to do something. Thing. So I would just do it. You have the Nine of Swords here. It's um, it's difficult to break these beliefs. I mean, Neptune and Pisces, right? Uh, Neptune and Pisces, 
Neptune will be in Pisces until 2025. The whole point of Neptune and Pisces is to show us, like, is to question our beliefs, you know. Um, one of a really great astrologer, Stephen Forrest, he says that uh, Neptune and Pisces is basically like, you know, if someone uh, was racist driving down the road, they might see a race they don't like on the side of the road, but they would actually pull over maybe and help the person that they don't they don't like on the side of the road. And then they would get back in their car and they would, that's when they would have the, like, oh, wait a minute, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a racist type of moment, right? So it's to pull us away from those kind of traditional beliefs. I'm, I'm obviously not calling you racist, Aries, but uh, what I am saying is that there could be just certain things that you believe or have believed for a very long period of time. And that can be difficult to break away from, for sure. But, it, you know, at the same time, it's kind of, um, you know, empowering here as well. It can also be one of those things, like I would be careful of this middle energy. It's kind of funny how the middle sucks, and but everything else is really good here. And this to me is kind of like saying that, um, you know, it can be hard because like if you have believed something for like 30 years or 40 years or even 20 years for a very, like a majority of your life, and then you find out that something isn't true or that there's another way of living, then you could feel like you wasted time. So I would just be careful, make sure that you're not, uh, getting stuck in that stinking thinking type of mode where you're like blaming yourself or anything like that. You know, I would be kind to yourself is what this is saying. You have the King of Cups here as well. King of Cups says there can be craziness going on all around you, but you need to kind of like maintain your composure, keep it, keep your cool here. And that's what I would do with that King of Cups energy. I do feel like there could be love coming in, but um, I need more details on that. So let's see where this goes. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Swords. Definitely a truth that is being revealed. I say that because you have the Sun card here as well. The Sun is something that becomes obvious to us. The Sun shines a light on something that we need to pay attention to. And the Ace of Swords can be a truth being revealed. So I do feel there's a truth being revealed. This is going to lead to a victory for you here, Aries. Everything here kind of tells me that you're ending cycles. Even, you know, the Ouroboros, uh, if I can get that word out, with the snake. You know, it's a snake eating its own tail. Some people say that that is basically uh, death and rebirth, right? That that symbol of the snake eating its own tail. And um, so I feel for some of you, it's kind of like you're ending cycles. You could be ending karmic cycles as well. Uh, you have the sun, the five of cups, and the three of pentacles here. Again, I would be careful of, like, I'm getting mostly wasting time on this five of cups. It's like th this person here is focused on what they've lost. They are not focusing on what they have to gain right here, the two cups behind them. Uh, I always say on the traditional five of cups, there's also a bridge that leads to a castle. So it's like you're not just getting these two cups. You're getting a bridge that leads to a castle as well. Um, you're getting the castle, basically. Uh, inside the castle is the ten of pentacles, by the way. So it's like you're gaining a, you know, a lot more than just two cups. So I, I feel like your focus, it's going to be very important for you here, Aries, to maintain your focus, focus on the positive, and also focus on the things actually that you actually want, not on things that you don't want as well. I feel like there are things that you, like, this is going to sound weird because, you know, the words that are popping into my head with this is there are things you can do, and, I, I, like, for whatever reason, I feel like that's what you need to focus on. It's like this Five of Cups could be you focusing on things you can't do. I feel like that's not going to help you right now, and I feel like this is saying kind of like you're exactly where you are right now, when you're exactly where you need to be, so focus on what you can do uh, at this time. Um, I, I, I kind of am taking this not necessarily good or bad uh, here with that Three of Pentacles because, you know, in some ways, I feel like this reading is kind of like saying you could be feeling a little bit restless because you, you you feel like you want to be much farther ahead with that cobra energy, I feel. But at the same time, I feel like this is like saying you don't really know what's going to happen between now and the end of the year, which, uh, spoiler alert, some craziness probably because we're like in between eclipses. We got a lot of weird stuff going on in the astrology. So there could be some significant changes between now and the end of the year. So it's kind of like saying focus on what you can do right now so you can be prepared for changes that you're going to be making towards the end of the year. These are going to be like shedding your your skin changes that you're going through here, Aries, but these are going to lead to significant amounts of growth and, you know, just wishes, basically. Uh, let's see where this is going. You have the five wands here. I feel like you feel like you're slipping away. For some of you, I feel like you're afraid to fade away with this uh, Five of Wands energy. It's like um, you're afraid of not getting attention with the sun. So I feel like, but I wouldn't. I would let go of those fears. I feel like these are fears here, Aries. These are not, this is not um, this is these are not legitimate concerns. And you know, especially with the snake um, there, the cobra, you could be going through a, a transformation, and you could be, you know, again, I would focus on the right things here. Is what this is saying. Ace of Pentacles. You have a lot of good stuff to look forward to here, Aries. 
in the Five of Cups, don't focus on the past. Uh, I would say don't focus on what you've lost. You have a lot to gain here, Aries, and I feel like you need to focus only on gains. I feel like even, like, in a lot of ways, I feel like I don't need to tell you this here, Aries. In a lot of ways, I feel like you've noticed that if, like, you're focusing on the wrong things, I feel like you notice how life doesn't work out as well. But then when you're focusing on the good stuff, it's like that's, you keep getting more of that. And I'm definitely getting that here for you, Aries, so I would keep it positive for sure. Uh, I feel there's treasure coming in for you as well. The five wands to me, I used to call Indiana Jones because to me it can represent going through a transformation and um, you know it can represent going through some sort of crazy trial to get some gold. So I feel like you have a lot to gain, really. Uh, next you have the cobra here. So again, I feel like all the, all these things are popping into my head. It's like you're trying to break a curse, and um, but it's not really a curse, you know. It, but I like this because I feel like you are going to, number one. And it's almost like you're breaking away from something that has kept you frozen for a very long period of time. So uh, I like this for you here, Aries, obviously. You have the Nine of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Star. Definitely needing to go through healing. Three, three of Swords. I mean, did I say Three of Cups? I don't know. But Three of Swords with the Star is kind of like needing to heal. So I feel for a lot of you, it's like you're going through a deep healing here and probably after a difficult period of time with the star. I also feel like you're seeing that something is possible, but I keep getting this truth thing. And like I said, I feel like it's more like an uncomfortable truth because, but not, you know, this is a good thing because it's going to lead to positive changes. Like I said, if you, if you always thought that you were stupid and, you know, all this other stuff that's not true, and then you found out you were actually smart, you would be pissed if you had wasted like 20 years, right? But you're discovering that something is possible for you. So I feel like you need to be excited. I feel like you should change the words to being excited as well. And I feel like you need to realize that you're capable of much more uh, in your life. And that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. You have the justice card. Definitely truth. Some sort of truth being revealed here. Uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Boom. Are you kidding me? What did I say? Inside the Ten of Pentacles there, Aries, is the Five of Cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. Total abundance. Total success. Uh, love it. There's definitely justice coming in for you. I feel like you feel like you're, you know, it's like karmic justice is what I would say to you here, Aries. I feel in a lot of ways, um, I don't like this reading because I am, uh, I'm very impatient <laughs> per personally and uh, I don't like waiting for things and I, I especially don't like status quo energy, right, Aries, uh, which is kind of like Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is kind of just like, yeah even, you know, it's just like the same. And so I feel that you're kind of like maintaining this like status quo energy. I feel like what you need to realize is that there's going to be an explosion by the end of the year. I feel like there's going to be a lot of growth and abundance coming in for you. And you need to realize that. But I also feel like you're kind of like breaking free from a trance, you know, it's like you're breaking free from something. And I want to ask, what is this truth? Queen of Cups here, the uh, death card, there's the shedding of your skin, the transformation that you're going through. And the king of cups, you're finding, for some of you, you could be finding your divine counterpart in love. Um, but what I would say here is what you are discovering is that you can change. It's again, again in, in a very simple way, I feel like this reading is giving you permission to go through a transformation. It's like maybe you feel like you have to be a certain way because of your family, right? It's like maybe your family lives life a certain way. And maybe you feel like, oh, they're my family. I have to live life like this. But maybe you're realizing you don't have to live life a certain way. Yeah, two wants, major growth, major abundance. Uh, you have the uh, lovers, definitely could be love coming in for you. Could be a water sign for some of you. Could also be a Libra as well. And you have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, uh, you know, I feel in a lot of ways you're going to be kind of like, even if you're not right now, I feel like in the near future, you're gonna be very careful with um, like your energy. I also feel like you're gonna be very careful with kind of your garden. You know, it's almost like you're, I feel like you're starting to realize that your life and the things you put your energy into, it's almost like a garden, right? It's like you're trying to grow all these different things in your life. And it's like, I feel like you're being very deliberate. That's maybe a good word right there is it's almost like you're being very kind of specific of like what what, what pl uh, plants you water in your life. I feel like you're being very careful of that with this energy. And this is a good thing because it's going to lead to growth in the right places. But um, damn. Aries. I love this reading. To me, this is like a lot of growth and a lot of abundance for you here. Yep, definitely could be a lot of luck. You have this courtship card here as well. Some of you new love coming in for you. Some of you, I feel like could have, be having a hard time releasing a relationship. I'm getting over here. I feel like there's something new coming in for you in the future. For others, I just feel like there's love in general. Like you haven't had love in a long time. And this to me looks like something new that could be very positive. Could be a water sign or a Gemini 
or um, a Libra is what I'm getting here. But uh, I love this for you here, Aries, um, for sure. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Aries, and uh, definitely enjoy your week.